Download this game from the sponsored link in the description below to help support my channel. What is up guys, it's Soulbash. We are back playing War Dragons and we've got some awesome stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and collect some of this stuff. I've uh, been building on and I did get a little insider pro tip about building stuff and like the size of your base. Okay, we just hit level 14, sweet. At lower levels, you kind of want to minimize how much you actually clear to begin with. And, you know, kind of focus on your actual base and building stuff up. Level things up because it'll make it a lot harder for people to actually attack you and clear you out at the current level. If your base is pretty much all high level stuff. Uh, I've been working on this stuff right here. I'm probably not going to go out here for quite a while. Uh, probably till at least level 20. I want to level all this stuff up. We just unlocked another spot from, I believe, right here. So let's go ahead and put, let's see, another ballista. Go ahead and get another one of those going. And I do have some dragons and stuff, I believe, that we need to try to get. Go ahead and collect all the lumber and meat. Level those guys up, and they help quite a bit in protecting. Let's see, we have... Okay, that right there is from joining a clan or a group, as they call it. It's basically you work together to help. You see that defend teammate at the top right there. I could go in and help him. You see the team chat, and you can transfer stuff back and forth. So it's basically like a guild, very helpful. You help each other out, and it's in real time when you actually are helping each other. So it's pretty cool. It's a lot different than most RTSs that I've played before, and I've played quite a few. Uh, so let's check out this dragon that we have here sitting in the incubator. Um, I don't remember which one this one is, but we need to go ahead and get it out because I need to start working on some of these newer dragons. New dragon discovered. Uh, Trollus. He is a breath wyvern. His ability is Havoc. I don't think I've used that ability yet. And let's check the roster. Who can we take out? So one of these guys right here which I'm probably going to take this guy out right here because he is one of the very first ones, Frig. So we'll put Trollus in. I mean, look at it. The, the damage and health is almost the same as a level one. So that's one thing you're going to have to get used to with this game is like ch changing out and swapping out, swapping out your dragons because you're going to have to use quite a bit different ones as you level up. As you see, they have different tiers. We've done collected all those. So we're starting to phase those out. That one right there, Kanara, that is one of the best ones you're going to get to begin with. It's an epic. So we're going to continue on. We have uh, quite a few that we could actually breed. So uh, I want to try to go towards uh, Arboreus right there. So I'm going to start collecting these, go to cross breeding. And right there, it is a rare. We have to have five, four. So we're going to go ahead and instead of just doing the once, we've got plenty of those, but we're going to gym this to do 20 at a time just to go ahead and try to get it while we're here. So let's see if we do get it. We have one, two, three. Ah, uh, we need more. Okay. We got 12 and 17 of the others, four out of eight and four of the others. Um, breeding progress. Let's go ahead. I got to do it again. I got to get this dragon. We need two more. Two more, come on, one more, one more. Give me one, yes. Got the rare, nice. All right, let's go to incubate it. Incubate eggs. And we are going to incubate this egg. And it's gonna sit there, uh, usually they go, no, they start out with lower hours, probably around two to three when you first start out, not even that long, I think. And then as you get into the more rare dragons, it's gonna cre increase the time. You do have these that you can uh, collect, they're speed boost. Uh, so I've got seven hour ones, uh, it's at 13 hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some of these up to uh, get the gem count down on it. And we'll do it at 160, go ahead and collect this one, see what this dragon is, see if it's any better than what we are already using. And, oh, that's a pretty cool looking dragon already. Nice. Gog, a frost dragon. He has explosive shield and storm resist. Explosive shield is actually a pretty nice one. It does a lot of damage to the area of stuff that is around him. 
and I know exactly which one we're gonna swap him out for right here this is still one of the tier ones that I had in there so we're gonna go ahead and take Gog and stick him in there now let's try and go get into some gameplay try out some of these new dragons and um, I believe I did start I only started one more thing what do we have here level 3 archer tower we're gonna go ahead and upgrade this always try to keep yourself upgraded guys I do have the elite package I went ahead and picked it up uh, it was like 30 days for a dollar 99 I couldn't pass that up I mean it was cheap and it gives a lot of extra experience for the dragon so it's a lot easier to level them up I'm gonna go ahead and jump in here uh, we'll see if we can't get someone else to attack with me as well from the uh, team all right here we go we're looking for experience uh, 545 and a slightly easier base if we can't find one um let's see what we have here 13 these guys have done spread out a lot you see how spread out their stuff is nothing's like evenly leveled uh so this guy right here let's go ahead and try to attack him i'm gonna use some of these newer dragons that we just got um we'll start out with this one right here start out with gog test him out and see how he is and we're gonna go ahead and invite teammates right there and the attack will begin within like five seconds from that I attack first okay I like this I like holding holding down to uh, do the flames it's I don't know that's my favorite type of dragons from these so far you know you have the taps and you have the swipes I like actually just holding down and just destroying stuff with fire got a one minute one three minute another three minute okay since he's level one I don't have any abilities unlocked on him yet and he's at about half health already and let's see if we can't destroy quite a bit of this get rid of that poison arrows is what's gonna finish me off before I make it to the next one that is very important you want to stick your poison towers out further away from your base that way you can get that damage done before it does get into your inner base now the next one we're gonna go with um, let's try this one right here that we got also Trollus and here we go he has a tap to fire and let's get rid of that right there don't need to be making those towers invincible he went out quick so he does definitely need to be leveled up quite a bit he may not be as good as the others so we're going to bring in a favorite we're going to bring in kanara kanara is an awesome dragon and we do need to level her up some more and light chain lightning is already ready so we're going to use it and let's get that baby dragon out there in front as well. Kanara is an awesome dragon. Let's see, get in here, just keep swiping, just keep swiping. We need some more energy. Uh, looks like we need two more to summon another. And there's the lightning storm right there that we needed. Bam. That dragon out there does a lot of good. It keeps you from taking damage when you're using Kanara. So the summon dragons, they're very powerful, pretty awesome. And look at that, all that extra experience we got from having elite, that is awesome. I can go ahead and train these guys up. He gains explosive shield, which is a nice ability. It'll help him out quite a bit, help him stay alive longer. He actually did pretty well, I like that one. Uh, Gog and Trollus, uh, he seemed kind of low. Um, Havoc, I'm not sure exactly what that skill does. We'll have to check it out. We can actually train him up again to level three. That's how nice having that extra experience is you can do multiple ones at a time now let's go back home we didn't have anybody assist us with that attack so let's go in here and check for this other dragon and see what else we actually have that we can level up and of course we have some here once you level these guys up of course the gog dragon we discovered and the others and you can see these are the ones we're working on next uh, and I like to get all these rares right here. The rares seem to be doing a lot better than these other guys. See, Trollus isn't a rare. So I'm going to try to work towards getting these. Um, it looks like we can get two more rares right here, Borg and Dominus. So let's check out Dominus. We can buy him. Okay, let's go ahead and get him. Breeding tap to reveal, go to incubator. And I think once you buy these things, you don't actually have to wait on the timer. That's the nice thing about it. So if you do spend these rubies on it, it goes to the incubator, but I believe, let me check right here. One second. Yeah, you immediately get the dragon if you buy it. So it does go to the incubator. Don't get upset. It's just one second and it's automatically done. Let's check this guy out. That is an awesome looking dragon. 
Celestial Sorcerer, Fireball, and Chain Lightning. So two strong attacks that this dragon has right here, and it's a rare Chain Lightning immediately already on it. We are going to have to use this guy. We might have to swap this guy out for one of these other guys that we just got. And I believe I'm gonna do it that with this one since it's already down. Um, we can we actually swap him out? Let's see. May have to heal him up. Let's try that real quick. Yes, you have to have the dragon healed up to swap them out, so that's okay. I'm gonna get Dominus in here and look at the hit point difference, guys. Look at this 48,700 on Dominus at level one compared to this other one. That's the difference between the rares. So that's what you want to gonna go for is the rares from each tier that you're in. And let's see, we have one more that we can do as well. And that is Borg right here. And we can actually crossbreed him. And let's see, we need zero out of three. He looks like he's gonna be a pretty good rare to get. Uh, let's go in here, yes, I'm sure. Attach 20 of them, see if we can't get real lucky. One only one that's that's a bit disappointing okay um breeding progress let's go again can we get him out of these that would be nice to get four out of this one run okay we got one two three yes we got all four of them in that one run that was awesome okay let's go back and let's go find his egg right here incubate and we're going to incubate this so now we have an extra dragon that we can rotate in and out from these other guys than when I'm not using them. And I could just continue attacking bases one right after another. And uh, we'll let that sit there for a second. Let's talk about this right here. This is from being in the team, the guild. Every day you can collect rewards and you see I'm going to pick up 434 of the golden eggs right there. And what you do with those is they were to use for your research. Uh, it can increase quite a bit. Uh, I believe I talked about it in the last video we did. But let's see some things that we can actually look at. 10% uh, Archer Tower Resistance Spell. Uh, plus 5% to Warrior Dragon HP. That's pretty nice. It takes 50, so we're going to go ahead and research that. 12-hour uh, wait. I want to unlock that right now. Because I want to see what's next available. See, it's still locked right there. We're going to complete that. And that's going to unlock the next tier. And that is Enhanced Rejuvenation plus one second rejuvenation spell duration, 20% rejuvenation spell healing. That's nice. We're going to go ahead and start that. We'll let that run for the 12 hours. And let's go back in and see if we can attack with this other new dragon that we have. All right. Um, let's see. We need to collect this stuff real quick before it all builds up. And now we can jump in and see if we can't get somebody else to help us if they are online. All right, here we go. We need to find someone to attack. That's not bad right there. 416 out of that. They got a smelly fall. It's fairly small, blah, blah, blah. fairly small, compact base. So we're going to use some of these new dragons. And I want to use this one right here, Dominus. It automatically started out with abilities at level one. Seems like it's going to be an awesome dragon to use. We're going to invite teammates. See if we can't get somebody else in here. And let's do this. Swipe over multiple targets, so he is a swipe. He only needs two more to get that chain lightning off. And we're going to immediately use it. He is wrecking this stuff quick. All right, we're almost done with the first. That poison is going to eat me up by the time I get around. Watch my health, guys. Watch, it's ticking down slowly. I'm not going to even make it around. That is terrible. That poison will get you quick. All right, for the next one, uh, let's bring in uh, probably another one of my favorites, Fenrir. He should be able to finish this base off. He is extremely strong and one of my favorite types of dragons as well, the Fire Breathers. So we're going to go ahead and use the shield right here to keep from taking any damage, really. And once it's taken too much damage, it's going to explode and do damage to this stuff. So watch this. Actually, we were not even close to anything. We were too far out. All right, let's try it again. Let's actually take some damage this time. There it goes. Nice explosion. Kills everything, even way out there. Fenrir is a nice dragon as well. All right, and that's it. 
Um, did we miss something? We missed one building. Look at that. That little thing right there. That sheep farm. We missed it. So, we are going to take one of our weakest guys. Free experience for him. And as you can see right there, hold on. It's got the five times. They run events all the time. Every week, multiple times during the week on different things. They give out like extra lumber, extra meat for your dragons. And even like two to three times I've seen it. Um, check their Twitter. They always send stuff out on that. Uh, it's called Believe War Dragons Game. I'll double check and I'll leave you a link for their Twitter in the description below. Uh, we can go ahead and train this guy up. Not sure how good he is going to be, but he is breedable at level four, so that's good. That should give us something else to breed. Uh, so we do have enough to continue training him as well, so might as well take him up. He maxes out at level 10, so I believe he's just going to be a regular dragon, purple, not an epic. All right, we're gonna check our egg tokens. Um, need to inflict 65,000 damage with a certain dragon. Uh, cast explosive shield. Okay, we've already done that twice and defeat four bases using frig uh, So we'd have to take frig in so those are some ways you can get the the egg tokens that let you use these and level these up in your research hall and That's what you can breed dragons with as well Because you have to you have to breed the dragons first before you can actually get the extra eggs to go in there with the uh, research so we have this guy right here ready to breed go to cross breeding can we breed him yet okay what are we gonna need five and ooh, 12 okay we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have to go for this gonna have to go for it okay we got one new breed one out of five and two out of 12 okay let's check the new breed go ahead and finish this off on well, this is dragon believe this was one of the other rares that we went for Let's see which one we got new dragon discovered board crystal wyvern starts out with havoc and lockdown pretty nice abilities i've never seen lockdown uh, and havoc as well we'll have to check those out uh, we're not going to open the roster because we have another one to incubate so we're going to go ahead and incubate this guy i'm curious to see what this is because that is a very odd looking egg that's not one that I've normally seen up here. So let's go ahead and unlock this guy. Six hours, so it's not gonna be too big of one. Um, I got a lot of 15 minute ones here. We'll go ahead and use those guys up to keep up from keep, to keep from using too many gems. And let's go ahead and unlock him. Hatch this guy out. Is it going to be the one we were looking for? New dragon discovered. I like the green and blue alicorn. That is not the one I was thinking it was going to be. So we're going to have to go back and let's do some more breeding and try to get this guy unlocked. All right. Alicorn was the one we discovered, but we're looking to get this guy. And I believe he's going to be the probably one that you have to get 12 from right there. We got two out of 12 on him. So let's go ahead and try to hatch 20 eggs and see if we can't get some more of them. Three of them. Okay. Four, three out of five. Okay. We got another rare five out of 12 okay new breed we're getting a lot of dragons this time guys this is great all right let's check this one and I'll be able to rotate these guys in and out and actually play for quite a while and level these guys up and take advantage of that elite experience as well so let's go ahead and get this guy out of the way Let's see which one I'm wondering if this is the other purple rare that was right beside the one I'm actually wanting Let's check this one out. Kind of looks like uh, Kanara with a golden color Garuda chain lightning and invincibility shield. And once we get this last one, we'll open the roster and we'll take a look at all those dragons we just got. I just got to get this rare. Yeah, that was Garuda right beside it. And this is the last one I want to get. Go to crossbreeding. Come on. We need what? Seven more of them. We're going to get them. We need seven more. Let's go. Uh, come on, none at all. One, two, three. Okay, three right there. Um, let's breed again. Yes, we want to go with another 20. We need four more. One, come on, come on, two more. All right, two more. 
we're getting this dragon and then we're going to test it out and then we'll wrap it up from there this has been an extremely long video i really do all right yes we got it new breed awesome let's go ahead and get this bad boy in here and on these guys look it went straight to the incubator i didn't have to place it there and let's take a look one day this guy is that big one day i'm not even gonna bother with the cooldowns on them or the timers let's just go ahead and unlock this dragon get it out and go use it we're going to use everything possible on this one dragon and see if we can't get a one dragon run clear with a level one this is a cool dragon rejuvenate stone skin and ballista resist ballista are the cannons i believe uh we'll double check that right here i may be lying to you that's a cannon tower let's see the other ones no we don't want to put it in the store the ballista i believe is uh this right here yes it is so it has resist to these guys and these are the ones that do the poison so that's pretty cool that is actually really nice so let's uh go to our dragons and we want to get rid of this guy right here so we're going to swap this guy out and let's take a look at the ones we got okay this is the one I actually really wanted. And he's got 58,000 hit points to begin with. Garuda's got 38,000. Uh, Borg, 29,000. And these are the lower ones. So these top three right here are the rares that I'm probably going to be replacing some of these dragons that I have with. But this guy is the one that's going out first with me. And that's all we need with you. That's finished already. So let's go ahead and collect that while we're here. Upgrade it again. Always try to keep these things going, never let them stop. That way you can maximize your base. Don't waste any time with them. And let's go back into attack. We still haven't got anybody to attack with this. Uh, maybe a bad time of the day. Uh, let's see here, 293. It's kind of a small base. Okay, this guy's got a decent base, 384, but we need some more experience. I want to try to pump these guys up. Okay, this is a very large base level 13 guy and we're gonna attack and we're going to use of course let's find him Arbus and we're going to put everything we can on him 30% plus 30% to attack and plus 30% to his hit points and we're gonna see if we can't take this base out in one run with this guy invite teammate don't know if anybody's gonna come but when they do come it helps out a lot you get a run and they get a run with the dragon hold and drag flame yes these are my favorite types all right let's get into it burn this stuff down and no abilities unlocked to begin with he's just still level one so it's gonna be very tough to see if i can make it all the way through this without having any trouble uh it's what gonna be three to four sections uh we can't clear this off defense armor plus one speed up take this other stuff out we're already at half health we're probably not going to make it with this one dragon but it's going to get a lot of experience those mage towers suck let's get this guy down so he can't go anymore and we're going to see doing pretty good resist to that take this out okay we're down to the last little bit of his base but i don't think we're going to survive this slaughter right here oh my goodness almost no health and none all right i don't think anybody else joined if they did they would be attacking currently so we're going to pull out one of these other dragons that we got let's see gog was a good one that i actually liked but kanara has experience times four still right now so we're going to use her swipe over multiple targets and let's go ahead and get a chain lightning out go ahead and take out the bulk of that and let's hit it with another one and wow kanara is just destroying this base i didn't even have to bring out the other dragon which i could right now right at the end but it's not really going to do any good because hey it's just going to pop out destroy the base and win Okay, so I didn't get the full run with the one dragon, but it was level one and it was kind of extreme going with that big of a base and it still seems we missed that little guy right there. A little bit of sheep farm. That's cool. That's all right. We will drag out another uh, dragon. Let's see. Uh, why not Fenrir? I mean, 
he needs the experience why not split the experience with him um and if you need to guys there's a swap button like right on the mid to right screen when you're in this if you want to bring in extra dragons if you just like killing it with one dragon and want to bring in another one to get experience you can swap them out and bring more dragons in to get make sure they get experience as well train Kanara up we do not have enough food so that means we need to wrap it up guys i want to thank you so much for watching this extremely long video we rarely do them this long but this is an awesome game i love playing this game i've been playing it for a couple weeks now and i want to thank pocket gems for sending the gems for this video amazing company i look forward to doing a lot more work with these guys if you like this video leave it a big fat like as always like comment and subscribe i am so bash you guys have a nice day Download this game from the sponsored link in the description below to help support my channel.